Have you heard of the term intelligence saturation? That's the idea that AI is getting so good that it saturates the task. It does the task so well that further intelligence gains, there's no point. What's, what's the point? That is already happening with some tasks and it's happening at the task level, not the job level. And I wanna lay that out for you. So I talked to someone this week who said, I know O3 is supposed to be better as a model from ChatGPT. I don't see it. And I don't see it because the task that I do, O3 is not better at. I'm already oversaturated on intelligence. And that's different from saying that the 4.0 model or whatever they're using, I think they were also using Gemini, is good enough to take their job. Because if you think about it, a job is so much more than a task. A job is the ability to maintain intent over time, for example. That's not something AI is very good at. And to be honest with you, I don't see a path there super soon. Even our best estimates are optimistic guesses around how long agents will maintain intent for look like roughly a week, maybe a couple of weeks in the next couple of years. We are not going to see a point in the next couple of years where AI is going to maintain intent over years. That is something that humans do really well, and that is an important part of our job. I have not seen any major model maker claiming that an AI can maintain intent for two years in the next two years. I don't see it, but that's about the average tenure of a tech job. Now you can argue a lot of knowledge workers also don't maintain intent over two years, and I suppose that's a fair critique. But the point is, we can still be saturated at the task level before we get close to job level replacement. And that is what I see starting to happen. I currently feel a difference with O3 that is remarkable because of the kinds of tasks I'm doing with it. It just works better for what I ask it to do. I can't tell you because it's hard to see coming up which model coming down the pipeline from a major model maker like Google or OpenAI is going to be so good, I can't tell the difference anymore but I believe it's coming. I believe we are getting to a point with intelligence where it will saturate out and we will have all the intelligence we need for our tasks. And I think it's coming very, very soon, much sooner than general intelligence. And if that's the case, we need to talk about where advantage lies. What do you do when everyone has the intelligence? The intelligence has saturated the market and really the only thing left is your ability to maintain intent over time to do the things that are unspoken in the job, like Polyanya's paradox. What's, what's left from an AI perspective that gives you a comparative advantage? If you're a model maker, it's a commodity. If you're an app builder, it's also a commodity. Where's the advantage? The advantage, I think, lies in the integration into the tool chain and the workflow. The advantage rolls into how you install the intelligence so it makes it easier to get work done. And that may be a company level thing where large companies think about how they integrate AI into workflows. It can be an app level thing where apps think about how they are designed for specific workflows with intelligence in mind. Because if you have to choose between equivalent intelligence, aren't you gonna pick the one that makes it easier to actually get the job done? And I will say there's a lot of room to grow here. We may have task level saturation, but me and everybody else I know who uses AI a lot complains about the degree to which we are copying and pasting stuff back and forth and arguing with our AI and arguing with a different AI and then copying it back over somewhere else. There's a lot of overhead associated with managing an AI that we have not managed to get rid of or come close to addressing. And that's just the easy case where you're just chatting with it. That doesn't come close to talking about integrations that dive more deeply into workflows, document approvals, document reviews, code reviews, things like that. We are getting farther on code, by the way, than the other areas because code has such a clean reward system. The code runs or it doesn't, the code is clean or it isn't, very, very easy to measure. Other areas like documents in text are trickier to measure and so that we're seeing slower progress there, but we will see progress. And I actually think that's one of the key areas for builders to get an advantage as intelligence starts to saturate. So the purpose of this video has basically been to introduce the idea that we are getting to intelligence saturation faster than we are getting to general intelligence. 
and that that is going to matter because it shapes the competitive landscape profoundly. It means that we are going to see a lot more people like my friend I talked to last week who just say, you know what, it's good enough. It's good enough. I don't care when the new model comes out. It doesn't matter. It's good enough. We're kind of there. If you, if you wonder what that feels like, we're kind of there with, with the iPhone, with mobile phones. Yeah, a new one comes out. A bunch of people buy it because they want the new thing. But it's not revolutionary. That device is kind of saturated. And that's why Tim Cook is reportedly spending so much time thinking about the new device. He's apparently entirely obsessed, not with AI, but with a glasses-like device that will enable you to look at the world and compute. We'll see how that goes. The point here is that saturation is here and is happening and the tide is rising on saturation. And if you don't feel saturated yet, I don't feel saturated, you are going to soon. You may feel saturated by the end of this year, in fact. I might be. Like 04, I may be like, it's hard to tell the difference with 03. I don't know. By 05, maybe it's hard to tell the difference versus 04. Keep your eye out for that. That doesn't mean that you're dumb. It just means that for the tasks that you're using it for, there's not a meaningful difference. That's saturation.